Hey, welcome back to the next ep episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So today we're going to take on, I had to shift planets between episodes. I just realized we spent all that time repairing our, our mechs and everything and getting them all updated and ready to go for the next battle. And I didn't think that there was no contracts left on the planet. So I had to jump planets between episodes. So if we go to star map real quick, we are here on Heteroditus. Heterotitis. We moved uh, from Lairton here. And, um, yeah, so we're at almost the end of the month, and we're almost out of cash. I had to sell a few things to get to the point where we are right now. So let's have a quick look at the barracks, and, and uh, we'll upgrade our skills. So now I have to decide, really, where I want to go with my uh, main mech warrior here. And um, there's been a few instances where having multi-target would have come in handy. So I think I will start off with multi-target. Um, and we're going to confirm that on my main uh, guy here. And then we've got a bit more experience, so uh, we're just going to dish this out to my other guys here. Now, Shiv took an injury uh, on the way over here, so yeah, so she's kind of out of action for a bit here. Um, so we're going to add um, sensor lock to... Now, Rhea is piloting one of the close-up Panthers, so we're going to add sensor lock, I think, to her right now. Um, you know... This is going to be nice for um, scouting and stuff, so we're going to go with this with her. So let's confirm that. And then we'll worry, we'll worry, we will worry about Shiv when she gets back, what we're planning on doing after that. So let's go to the command center. Let's go to contracts. And we're going to take a Capellan Confederation uh, contract today because a lot of these ones up here are against Capella, so let's get some... some um, rep with them first before we strip it off by doing these ones and we're going to do aggressive negotiations it is an assassinate mission i'm hoping for some medium mech parts um because we're having a really hard time with salvage on this one um in order to move from light to medium i may have to start choosing some mech parts as part of my salvage um but i'm not 100 percent sure yet so we're going to go two of eight and we're going to take some cash on this one because we are going to need some money so let's accept and we're going to add the panther, the missile panther, in for possum here. Um, and then deploy and get this done. Oh, wait, what are we missing here? Oh, yeah, right, Shiv can't go into battle today. So here we go. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Um, and I'm thinking they're going to have reinforcements. Looks like they are. So we're going to have to strip these guys down to dead here right at the very beginning. Um, let's make a play for the right-hand side of the map. Get a bit of distance between us and the reinforcements. If I were an ambush, oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. If I could add one mod to Flashpoint, it would be the Shut Up Darius mod. Unfortunately, I hate the title of it, but really the guy just needs to stay quiet. It's like all these things. I guess if you're a beginner player, it's nice to kind of know that stuff. But, you know, if you're an experienced player, he's just like telling you things you already know. So it kind of looks like all our mechs look the same here. It's like we're like the Panther crew. All right, see what these guys do here. Um, hoping that that main mech is not a light mech. I'm hoping that... Oh, here we got contacts already. So let's get in close. What can I do for you? No sweat. On the move. Let's force them to move out. On my way. Okay. We got one light guy and one heavy. My guess is the vehicle's the heavy. So I'm let's start by trying to target that. Who are you? Awesome. We can see him. Can't see him from there. So let's move in. Large laser, medium laser, and LRM. What do we got here? A striker with like almost no armor. So let's see if we can kill this guy. A large laser miss? Ah, it doesn't matter. It's destroyed anyway. Looked like it missed, but I think it hit. Okay. Score. I think this guy is going to go last. That's moving and we can't hit. 
So let's do, uh, let's get you into here. Firestarter H, so now we can see him. Locust. Let's go after that Firestarter first. Uh, can we actually hit him from anywhere? Don't think so. Really? Really? Let's move down here then. Affirmative. Let's open up on this guy. Wow. Okay, we gotta kill fast. So if there's another guy belonging to this unit, he'll be over here. Okay, what? this is the same one we fought before. Farstar H, almost no armor. Let's move forward. Let's go against the fire starter. Nice. Nice. So we're gonna sh everyone's gonna shoot on him next time. So it doesn't look like they got any more than three here. Alright, possum first. Let's get down into here, please. I read you, Commander. We're Coming gonna keep out. rolling to the right. We're gonna fire on the fire starter. Let's try and make him unstable. Time or kill die. him. Nice. Another hit like that, and you're toast. He sure is. Okay, he's unstable. He's gonna have to move next. He should still be sensor locked, so he can't get out of range. So like both pan both uh, panthers are going to shift and attack that locust. Commander. Copy that. Fire everything. Ah, at least one thing hit this time. We want to get him to move away. If he shifts back to our left, that's the best thing. Standing by. Let's move down a little closer. Little better chance to hit. Fire with everything. Nice. Hit with almost everything. Alright, so they're still moving in. Here comes that locust. Making a break for it. Don't blame you, buddy. He's like, I want to go home to my mom. We can't shoot them both, so we're going to take the fire starter. Moving down to the water, fire at this guy. Oh, we missed with the most important weapon. And then no SRM4s either. Damn. Okay, so it's a vehicle. No big deal. I'm thinking maybe after this mission, we start taking minimal salvage, because there really isn't anything amazing that's going to help us out with these mechs. And just start going with cash, because I'm thinking that um, in the long run, that's what's going to benefit us the most. Because there seems to be some pretty good stuff in some of the stores. So buying that would be a better idea. Ugh, not quite enough. Okay, I'm liking that loadout on the Panther. I'm wondering if we should start... Like, if we load up the Vindicator like a tank. And use him as the scout. And then just go long range on everybody else. Like, that might be another good way to go. Because an LRM and an a, a LRM-10 and um, a large laser... on a censored lock target would be devastating, I think. One left target. Okay, so that guy's gone. I 
And we're going to reserve. I'm going to let this Locust move first. Because if I shoot at him now, um, he's going to lose one Chevron of Evasion, but then he'll move and get it all back again. So I'd rather have him have... Where is he going? He's trying to flank, the little Commander. stinker. Smart move, buddy. Let's move over here. Move order confirmed. So I want to strip some of the evasion first and then have my PPC fire at him. So let's fire at this guy. Affirmative. I mean, we, we, we would have had the same chance to hit if we fired last um, evasion Boy, phase or hit. last uh, um, movement phase, but there's no point. Oh, they do have a medium. Hopefully it's not they're just a vehicle. I would really like, I hate to say this, but I would really like that mech to be a heavy mech, the main one. I'm only getting two evade salvage, but it's probably the PPC on this guy. So the thing I'm finding about this Biotech Flashpoint, it's not so much that it's... It was frustrating to start, I'm, I'm getting a better grasp of it now. I think I'm almost ready to take, take on a one and a half skull mission. Um, but the thing I'm finding about it is that it's not as satisfying as Rogue Tech, because Rogue Tech you can run with lighter mechs like this for a long time, because there's always stuff that you can get to improve them. You know, ferrofibrous, endo steel, lighter weapons, you know, you can change up your builds, your loadouts, and it, it was just fun. But now it's like, you're so limited by what you can choose, that it's becoming difficult to, um, like maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. It's becoming difficult to decide what we should be, you know, focusing on here. So let's just move up to here. And I want to find out what this vehicle is. I've got a sensor lock. Scorpion, okay. Got a mech coming in. So let's get possum. How much armor does the scorpion have? Not much. So, let's be the scorpion killer today. Affirmative. Once again, large and LRM-10. So, combination with that sensor lock and long-range weapons, I mean, I think that's the way to go with this. I mean, we can imagine knocking things out at range and not even having to worry about, like, most of these guys seeing us. So, once again, we're going to reserve. Let that locust move. Confirmed. That's okay. She's moving next. Hit, Commander. Yeah. Don't laugh. Awaiting orders. When you laugh is when you get shot in the head. Okay. Firing everything at close range. Minus one evasion, that gives MC900 for Jesus the much better chance to hit. I could have gone with a better chance to hit with, uh, um, sorry, was that Rhea? Owl, sorry. By shooting last, like, on the, uh, turn four, but it's better to uh, lower the chance for, um, MC900 for Jesus to hit. So we can do that. So now we got nobody at our back. Okay, so that's four targets down. This mech is toast. So, Rhea, let's move over here. And we're gonna sensor lock this guy. Another fire starter H. See, if these guys had different loadouts, like if some of them had like, you know, an ER PPC or something along that line. Now I know it. it's not really canon in Battletech, but it's like, I don't know. It's it's almost okay. worth like not even getting salvage. Copy that. Fire everything. Confirmed. If we go with all cash, then we can just buy like range finders and you know, whatever, any good stuff we can find in these stores. I mean, technically, you could go through you could go through Rogue Tech and then um, just choose like. Let's get out in the open here. You could just, you know, choose buy, choose to buy mech parts and just buy your mechs. 
I mean, it really depends on what's in the store. But from what I've seen so far, like, one of the stores had, like, three Vindicator parts. More where that came from. Okay. 900 feet. Moving closer. Firing everything. Alright. I think I'm hitting my stride with this with Flashpoint. I think I'm ready for another uh, Four Skull mission. I'm kind of happy with the mech loadouts now. But I'm thinking maybe changing the uh, SRM and the three medium lasers for an LRM and a large, maybe in one more of the Panthers. Rio's Panther, which should probably still stay with the close range weapons. Let's fire on this guy. Let's get rid of their eyes and ears here. Um, bye bye. So she would stay because she's got sensor lock. She would stay with a regular Mac, but maybe having two with large lasers and LRM tens might be a good way to go. Take the jump jets off the Vindicator, load it up with armor, make them a little more tankier. I think probably would be the right way to go. Let's keep moving forward slightly. I don't want to engage that guy yet. Let's just move up and get enough into the trees. Let's get a sensor lock on... I want the mech of the vehicle. The vehicle we can probably kill easily enough this turn. So let's do that. So Possum's going to target that guy. Let's move back to here. Stay in the trees. No point in going too far. Now this map is far different than the one I played on before, where we were trying to. Uh, we were, I think it was a, I think it was a letter of mark, where there was two lances. Now I made a huge mistake on that on that map, and I will admit to that I should not have. Um, I can't target these guys. I should not have. Um, let's move up here. I shouldn't have gone to the left there. I should have gone to the right, and taken on the vehicle in the valley first which would have shielded me from the, from the other four guys that were approaching. Probably long enough to take out, you know, two, maybe three of the opponents before needing to engage them. Okay, I'm just going to move over here slightly. Finish up this vehicle. Engaging target. Okay, so that guy's gone. Two more reinforcements left in the main guy. Now let, let that main guy keep getting closer. Really hoping for a... Um, Let's move Rhea back here. Really hoping for a um, medium at the least. Be nice if it was a heavy. I've got a sensor lock. Another Panther. It's again a 9R. Yep. Damage minimal. Okay, so he barely moved. What can I do for you? So, um, let's just back up a little bit, I think. Don't have to move very much. A little bit of moonwalking. Fire at this guy. Right, Commander. Oh, that was a good spot to hit. Alright, make him a little unstable. And Owl, we can get in close enough now. Do I want to get over here? Be able to see the vehicle. Let's do that. Moving to position. Just in case it's more important to kill this guy. AC5. Yeah, I think I can probably kill him with... Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. We're going to kill him with uh, 900 foot Jesus. So right... So his... Are, okay, his main weapon's gone now. Phase 3. Here comes the Scorpion. Oh, he's backing away. He's going to fire the AC at this guy here. That's what I do. Okay, 900 foot. I want to get him closer this way because that main mech's coming and I want him to be a meat shield. He's got a little more armor than everybody else. We're going to fire on this guy. Hopefully strip off this other side. There goes the left torso. Did we knock him down? Please fall, please fall, please fall. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So he's a walking stick with an SRM-4. Two larges. So, I'm thinking it's a um, blackjack. Should we? Waiting on you, Commander. 
Let's keep backing it up a little bit here. Moving to position. I'm gonna try and finish up this mech here first. Roger that. I want him off the board. Come on, give me just a head tap. Oh, we could blow up his CT. That works too. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Order. Hang on, Rio. Let's get Owl up here. Roger that. See if we can kill the scorpion. Targeting for an alpha strike. Looks like I might do it. Oh, not quite enough, really. Now, do we want to finish him up? I don't think we can from here anyway. So, let's move Rhea back. Moving out. And I am going to sensor lock this guy. Why can't I sensor lock? Um, is he out of range? He's out of range for sensor locking, really. Well, we're going to need to kill that guy then. Damn it. A nice shot. Taking minimal damage. That's 45 is not minimal damage. How do you get minimal damage from 45 points? I don't get that. Okay, let's turn face that guy. And fire straight on him. Finish him up. Cool. Let's finish off the diplomat now. So he is a medium mech. And he is going to be in pain here. So we're going to move in here. Don't need to see him. All I need to do is be able to sensor lock him. Crab. Yeah, well that's one of the new mechs. Looking pretty darn cool. Like the arms on him. Nice shape. Can't wait to see this guy in Rotec. So he's got two larges and a medium. Full armor. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to actually... What can I do for you? We're going to select some, some crab salvage. If uh -huh. we get some salvage out of this. So, the first thing we want to do is... So, he's already gone this turn. No, he went last turn. If I push him back one, that lets me go... The Vindicator go before him. But do I do it with this guy? Only in range with the LRM, so we might as well. Let's try for a head hit. Here they come. Pot shot to the head, please. Our primary target is taking damage. Gotta be careful. He's gonna try and flee, but I think the flee zone is over here. I think we're okay there. So, uh, let's... Sprint up. Get that rock between us. See what he does next turn. So let's move in. He's pushed back one turn, which means I get to go before him. Let's go into the trees. I'm gonna turn this side to him. I'm gonna fire at him. Protect that right arm. Firing just a PPC. Okay, impair his sensors. Oh, he's going after the other guy. Yeah, nice animation too. Ooh, nice shooting Tex. Yeah. Nice shooting, Tex. Yes, Commander. He's playing the map board really well. Can't shoot him. We can get in here. Waiting on you, Commander. You can see him. He won't be able to see you, I don't think. Let's pot shot him with LRMs. Can do a defensive push again. Precision strike. Let's try for another headshot. You betcha. If I can get a headshot, then I can take a torso and then knock him down. So, Owl. I don't think that crab can move very far. Left side's primarily damaged. So we turn the right a little bit. Like so. Fire on this guy. Is that a headshot? Nope. This wasn't some structure though. Um. Let's 
so the right arm's damaged. We're going to turn the left side to him. And we are going to do a precision strike. We're going to try for a headshot. See if we can take that head off. Well, there's the left torso. So he is taking one injury. Goes half his weaponry, pretty much. Yeah, he's backing up. Don't blame you. I panic too, dude. Okay, how much evasion does he have? None. I hear you. Are you inside larger laser range or not? How far do you need to be? Right there. So let's move down. Right, Commander. Which means you're inside his large laser range, but that's fine. Could try for a headshot. Could try and leg him. Maybe we try that instead. A little better chance to leg him. Got it. Or we could just keep shooting for the torsos, that works too. Let's jump it over. We're out of precision strikes, so let's just fire straight out. Oh, it looks like there's a few leg hits there. Owl. I want to keep that right side to him. Roger that. Fire on. Looks like a couple more leg hits. Target's taking a critical hit. Heat sink destroyed is irrelevant because he's in the water. Jump it down. Got to make sure our left side is to him. Engaging jump jets. And fire straight on him. That was a leg hit. There goes the leg. He's going to fall. There's the torso, and hopefully he's unconscious, and that's it for him. Enemy come on, come on, come detected. on. Be unconscious. Be unconscious. Oh, he's got one more injury. Question is, though, do we have enough uh, morale to be able to take a headshot chance? Okay, so Rhea, let's sensor lock this guy. He's not going anywhere. And possum. What can I do for you? Let's not move. Let's attack this guy. We don't have enough. I'm just going to fire. I was hoping we would have enough for another offensive push. All out of long range missiles, Commander. Yeah. Oh well, we tried. All right, yes, let's get we get to a point where we can let's just jump over here. Confirm. Let's see where he goes. Pew. Yeah, we don't have enough for. Uh, Fifteen each round. Just gonna move over here for now. See if we got enough resolve now for an offensive push. Don't think we do. I hear ya. We do. So let's twenty eight in the CT. Wow, there's no way we're just taking this leg. On you, okay, let's finish him up. There we go. Disappointed, but what can we do? Should have run when you had the chance. He should have. Mission successful. Okay, well that was legitimately disappointing. 164,000, so we're pretty close to having our uh, the money we need for the end of the month, which is great. Took some arm damage here. Uh, not much we can really do about that. A couple large laser hits. All right, so we're gonna take the crab part. Uh, we're not gonna take the rest of the stuff. And let's take a couple of LRM-10s. Oh, we can only take one. All right, I think all we need is one. Oh, there's SRM-6s too. 
Let's hope we get one. There's nothing else we really need down here. Yeah, you can see what I mean about the salvage. There's such a huge difference compared to road tech. So there really isn't much we can we really need out of this. But yeah, the crab part and the, normally I'm not gonna take mech parts. But if we find any of the new mechs, I definitely will take them because it's kind of cool to, to play with these guys. So I will take the crab part and an LRM-10 because we want to swap out uh, one of our other uh, Panthers for a long-range build. So let's confirm this. So we got a crab, fire starter, and Panther part. So we're pretty close to having another one of each one of these guys, which we'll be able to sell. Jump Another jump jet. Nah, not a lot there. Got another heat sink. Good. We don't have to pay for those anymore. All right. So that'll be it for this uh, episode of Battletech Flashpoint. Uh, when we come back next time, oh, we better, better repair this guy, we will um, take on another mission before the end of the month um, because I want to get some more money before the financial report happens. Um, and, um, yeah, so then we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we do have three mechs in stash, so we don't have to worry about um, if we lose a mech, we still have a bunch that we can use. But, um, yeah, until next time, if you liked the video, please drop a like. Uh, feel free to, um, you know, share it with people and subscribe if you can. Uh, also drop comments down. I really enjoy reading comments. Um, also, if you haven't checked out my um, Rogue Tech uh, Cold Forge series, there's a link here that you can just click on and uh, go check that out. Uh, that's the series that I want to run congruently with this one. Right now, I'm kind of working hard to get up, in, up to speed and get uh, um, these uh, episodes synced up so that we have the same... Uh, episode number running at the same time so we'll be doing doubles of these every single day of uh, flashpoint um, until i get caught up but until next time we'll see you all later